hi there. Thank you for joining me. And this is both a recorded live thing, so bear with me as I'm still understanding or trying to understand technology. But this piece is actually a series of three proses that were given me over time and that time was deliberate for me to understand what this three-parted thing is supposed to mean. So. We're going to start with a prose that has to do with communion with Jesus Christ, which is the door of entry into glory before the Father to go to Him boldly and be able to, to be in communion with Him as well. And then when we're in that privileged place, we get to walk out life from heaven here on earth with the Holy Spirit who counsels us and transforms us as much as we allow Him to help us become like the perfect one, Jesus Christ, the King. So interesting, because when I was trying to put these in three in a different order, God was like, no, follow my order. And I was like, okay. And then he had me wear this particular thing to remind me that uh, pure white purity has a specific ornate pattern and design. And then he said, wisdom, like pearls, the question is dangling. Are you willing to pay the high price for that special precious pearl of great price leave all things behind to enter in to the pearly gates of new jerusalem this takes wisdom and revelation so before i enter these three i feel that i need to release the spirit of prophecy in the name of jesus christ i release the spirit of prophecy through me into the airwaves and into you so that you would know who you were meant to be what you're called to complete your mission here on earth to bring heaven down and through all things and that you would be clothed in the spirit with your garb of royal destiny that your destiny is being activated reactivated and your life transformed by this decree the spirit of prophecy let it be through you in jesus name let's begin okay this first one is called promissory Nothing else but his blood, washed and bathed in him, his name, his love, is the only way to be pure, spotless, for him, for him. Give it all up to him, humbler than the lowest, higher than the highest. He is as Father has raised him, poised him, set him as Lord of all creation. The expanse from earth to heavens is still not enough to give room, for he is beyond any scope and grasp, yet he comes lowers himself in a great love and meets me and you where you and I are and leads us to the beauty of him, his meadows, and crowns me and you with his endlessness. Like me, says he, don't you know you are walking into gilded ways on high in eternity? There was nothing on earth or below or the space far that would keep me from reunification. Father is pleased to see you. Be sure you do. Spirit wants more room, more depth of song. I want nothing but all of you. I long, just as you do, to be with you. I must wait until the wedding feast, for you are the meal and my sweet, all that Father has promised me. Hold tight to what was with me, for all will be and more to come. Lord, let me. Help me never forget how low you went and still do to lift me up to be with you again okay the second one is called good good friday hmm i'm a psalmist not a vocalist so bear with me holy spirit help me <gasps> here we go <clears throat> you are good so good dad you are good if we believe we receive you all the good you are all the good you've been We'd see, we'd know more of you and your love. It's a power, more power, it's true love. We'd dream, we'd know, we'd feel. We'd become more like your son, Lord Jesus. Father, Father, Dad, you are maker. Yahweh, you're the one. El Elyon, Dad, you are creator. You are father of all. You call me friend. You have made me yours. You are sovereign, sovereign. You are sovereign, sovereignty. Oh, good, good daddy. All power. My father of lights, 
In your goodness, by your love, mercy, you are good, so good, Daddy. My God, for you I shine. My God, for you I shine. My God, for you I shine. The third one is called All in All. Your name is so great, so awesome, and to be reverenced, blessed be your name. Hashem has become my dad. Blasphemy, silly, unsanctimonious, hush the hating, jealousy, judgment, wondrous is he. Holy, holy, holy might and majesty. Only the one, true one, could bridge the divide, an expanse too great for any other to cross, but that he did, and did so for me and you. I see you, I see you, still on that hill coming for me. I am the chosen child of the one Elohim, the one who bid me into his stay. Stay with me. Earn eternity is our place. So my son has been given you, my prized one, and he is your kinsman, redeemer, bridegroom forever, never to stray, and love you always. Checkered past, chess as queen, He's given you the board and frees you to be as he. The greats are rising. The spirit, your very breath, your becoming. The life of me, I am in you, and you like holy fired water, warm healing steam. Breathe, grow, others breathe you in, precious is each soul. Loved in love, they taste heaven and sense me in touch like space expanding molecules less dense completing thorough saturation weightless off the chain and free from man you my child are as i am call my name here i am so those are the three i'm at seven minutes so the things that those three lead me to share with you is actually what resurrection is all about for entering in through Jesus the Christ to go before before the Father boldly and live in the Spirit always, even in this body. It The question begs, do you believe? Do you believe Jesus as he says? Because he says, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. Whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? This is John 11, 25 to 26. Jesus is asking you, do you believe this? Do you want to spend eternity with me? Because you have the other choice, and that is a dark place you do not want to be. I assure you, if you know my story, God has saved me from the brink of death over and over and over again. I know that it's a blessing for me to have life, so I speak death unto death, so life can expand and be fully complete and abounding through you by heaven, taking dominion on this earth, because that is what Jesus came to do for me and for you. And he has conquered the final enemy, death, so we can live in grace and joy and abundance without fear, because perfect love of Father has transformed this earth through those who have accepted him. Do you believe? What do I believe resurrection is? Resurrection life is the fact that you can live as you've never lived before. Each day you're living as if it's the first time. This is the resurrection life Jesus Christ has given me to decree this, to say it's the end of death for you, for those who accept him because this is what he did for me. So this is what I speak, the end of death and the beginning of life to live each day as if it was the first time you've ever breathed life. This is what Jesus offers you. This is what the pros of three is offering you this day. So I ask you, will you believe and enter in through the gates, the pearly gates of Jerusalem and enjoy life eternal the way you were meant to, the way you're loved and planned and destined to? This is what I ask you for this resurrection journey from Good Friday to Resurrection Sunday, that every day would be resurrection for you. I'm Jane Justice Park. Thank you for listening. God bless you.